The defense market in the Philippines is heating up as the country moves forward with its multi-role fighter, MRF, aircraft procurement project. The two final contenders, South Korea's KF-21 Boramae and Lockheed Martin's F-16 Fighting Falcon, are vying for a coveted contract to supply the Philippine Air Force with advanced combat jets. This project is driven by the growing threat from China in the South China Sea and the need to modernize the country's aerial capabilities. The Philippine Air Force launched the MRF procurement project in August 2024, aiming to acquire approximately 40 multi-role fighter jets. The estimated total budget for this effort is 400 billion pesos, approximately $6.95 billion, with 61.2 billion pesos, $1.1 billion, allocated for the first phase, which includes the purchase of 10 combat aircraft. Initially, several aircraft were considered, including the Swedish Gripen, French Rafale, and European Eurofighter Typhoon. However, only South Korea's KF-21 Boramae and Lockheed Martin's F-16 made it to the shortlist, setting up a head-to-head -head competition. The KF-21 Boramae represents South Korea's first domestically developed fighter, designed as a 4.5-generation multirole aircraft. It boasts advanced capabilities, including partial stealth, a maximum payload of 7,700 kg, and 10 hardpoints for a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. Powered by a GE Aerospace F414 engine, it can reach a top speed of 2,200 km per hour and has a range of 2,900 km. The Boramay is equipped with cutting-edge technology, including an active electronically scanned array, ASA radar, which enables simultaneous tracking of multiple targets, and an integrated electronic warfare suite. Its price per unit is estimated at $71.5 million, considerably lower than European competitors like the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dasar Afeli. South Korea's ambitious KF-21 project, initiated in the early 2000s, is designed to replace older aircraft in its air force, such as the F-4 Phantom II and KF-5E-F. With international collaboration from Indonesia, the project aims to bolster South Korea's domestic military aviation industry. Several variants of the KF-21 are planned, including the air-to-air focused Block I, air-to-ground capable Block II, and Block III, which will incorporate enhanced stealth features and unmanned systems integration. The aircraft's design is future-proof, with provisions for upgrades such as full stealth capabilities and an internal weapons bay in later models. The Block I version, scheduled for production between 2024 and 2028, will initially focus on air-to-air -air missions, with later iterations enhancing air-to-ground capabilities. Lockheed Martin's F-16 Fighting Falcon is a proven combat aircraft that has been in service since 1978, with more than 4,500 units sold to 25 countries. Known for its versatility, the F-16 has been continuously upgraded with advanced avionics, radar systems, and precision-guided weapons, making it a formidable contender. Although a fourth-generation fighter, the F-16 offers significant combat capabilities, particularly in air-to-air -air engagements. It carries the AIM-120 AMROM and AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles, which provide effective long-range and close-range targeting. The aircraft is also equipped with the N-APG-66, V-2 radar and advanced electronic warfare systems, including the Pylon Integrated Dispensing System, PIDS, for countermeasures. The F-16 is an attractive option due to its lower price, about $43 million per unit, and proven battlefield performance. However, it lacks the stealth and next-generation electronic warfare systems found in newer aircraft like the KF-21. While both the KF-21 and F-16 present strong cases, the Philippines' decision will depend on several factors. The country's future plans include acquiring fifth-generation fighters like the F-35, which may influence a preference for the F-16 as a stepping stone. However, South Korea's KF-21 offers a more modern platform with advanced features and a lower unit cost compared to European options. Korea Aerospace Industries, KI, the developer of the KF-21, is also leveraging its previous success in the Philippines, where it delivered 12 FA-50s in 2014 and provided ongoing military support. The company's track record, combined with the KF-21's potential for future upgrades, may make it a compelling choice for the Philippine Air Force. As the Philippines evaluates its options, both the KF-21 Boramay and the F-16 Fighting Falcon offer distinct advantages. The KF-21's advanced technology and future upgrade potential make it an attractive long-term investment, while the F-16's proven reliability and lower price point may appeal in the short term. Regardless of the outcome, 
this acquisition will play a crucial role in strengthening the Philippines' defense capabilities in an increasingly contested region.